So I've been a React developer for almost eight months, and those eight months have been some of the best and worst times of my life. However, as I was scrolling through tech Twitter and all the drama that's going on, I saw an image that showed that Svelte was one of the most used and favorited JavaScript frameworks on the web right now. And so in my brain, I was like, hey, I need to take a break from React because I am so tired of it. I want to try some new framework for a couple of days. Why not make a challenge over it and try to at least learn the basics of Svelte? And that is exactly what we will be doing in this video i'm gonna attempt to learn svelte and build a project in three days but yeah with that being said let's get into the challenge and so day one rolled around and it kind of went as expected i found this tutorial by traversy media i don't i don't know if that's the right way to say it and like i did in the past i kind of expected it not to go my way and honestly as i was building stuff and i was learning about you know where to put the script tag and how to design things and everything being in one page it honestly brought me back to the first days of learning react and next.js but honestly so far it's pretty simple like i i obviously know how to write write stuff in javascript so hopefully you know i can understand what's going on here it's just been a little bit of a weird change but yeah i'm super excited to start and uh yeah i'm just gonna i'm gonna keep learning but highly recommend this course so far and because i learned javascript and i've done next.js in the past learning the concepts like if loops for loops while loop all of those because i learned you know javascript before it was just a matter of understanding how you do it in svelte and in the project we were building like a feedback app where you post and you can delete and calculate stuff and we we're just going over like honestly just the pure basics of svelte by the end of day one like i hopefully showed you some of the things i felt a little frustrated but also felt pretty good like like, okay, I was struggling to understand how to write something. I was struggling to like really understand why we're sending data from this page to the next page. Why am I writing let export name on this page? And then it's called there. I was able to also understand how things were going. Created a rating thing here and we're just tracking the values in here. So it's like greater than 10 text, send it. It'll console lock the value where it should be. And then here we can like grab the value and then delete them. And if we refresh, it'll show. So. We kind of understood the basics. And honestly, by the end of day one, I spent like three hours on Svelte. I finished the video course. And by then I still needed the help of a tutorial to make something. I learned the basics. I knew some of the things and was ready for day two where we built our own project. And so day two came around and although I was feeling a little bit cocky about everything, it was the most difficult day out of the challenge. Because as you know, and with a lot of developers, it's one thing to like follow a tutorial and it's a total other monster to build your own application. And the app that I decided to build was really just a mix of everything like i wanted to just build random things so i set on building a counter app with a bunch of features so for example i wanted to add an input where whatever you type in will also be outputted as a text i also wanted to map through data from one page to another just a bunch of random things in the counter app just to get the sense of everything and honestly as soon as i started i needed a lot of help from the get-go like okay i did like a three hour thing yesterday i didn't know how to start the application yay app is done I didn't know how to run the application. I didn't know how the pages worked. I didn't even know how routing worked. There were so many things, so many questions that I had, and I felt like I was just thrown into the fire. But you know, as I started researching and trying to be a better developer and you know, Googling, using ChatGPT, asking Stack Overflow how to do basic things, I was able to get my foot through the door and I was able to start building what I wanted. And the first thing I really did was just build out the initial counter app where it could go from plus, you know, go up and it could go down and you can also reset. And I also added a function where it would display whether or not the number was an odd number an even number or not like if it was a zero it's just display something else and although i was you know getting my way through this it's still very uncomfortable like I, I hope you get that like it was just super uncomfortable for me because i'm used to building applications and i was struggling with really basic things like a counter app and it was just a really big ego hit to myself because you know i'm used to these things also in the day like i said i was able to add an input section where you can like display text and i also just added some random things to the application honestly what really helped me here was the project that i did the day before with traversy media where i just looked at the repository and saw how i like looped through something or how i you know displayed data from another page or how i you know created the page in the first place but anyways by the end of day two i did what i had to do i learned the basics and by now honestly i felt comfortable taking a step forward and building something maybe a little bit more complicated. And that is exactly what we tried to do in day three. And so by day three, we already built something with someone. We already built our own application. I felt like here was the time to read up on Svelte documentation, look at how open source projects are made using Svelte and how complicated projects are made using Svelte. And finally, just applying some of that into my own applications. So kind of mix of both day one and day two. And so literally, all I did this day was just go on GitHub firstly, look at some repositories in both Svelte and Svelte Kit, and read 
up on as much as I could. For example, I looked at how you can route where you can like create different pages. So now whenever we go to Yo, it's going to be the main page. So this page. And then now whenever I press on content, it'll take me to slash content and it's showing here basic stuff but <laughs> i also looked at how complicated apps were made using svelte kit which is the felt framework i'm just reading through some of this um felt kit and it just seems really similar to react and next.js in terms of like routing and like here is using typescript in this felt kit so i'm guessing if where's this i go to contact it'll take me to the contact page it's like get in touch if i go here I'll, I'll hopefully see get in touch there we go so I can read this. I mean, I don't think it's like crazy outlandish. And most importantly, I read up on some documentation in Svelte so that I could know exactly how to do things. Like they showed me how to do like a to-do app where you're mapping through stuff and using different types of things. I don't really know how to explain it, like estate management and stuff like that. But frankly, this day was just left to my own curiosity, just trying to have as much fun as possible because honestly, the last two days were just the most difficult of the bunch. So I felt like I wanted to reward myself, you know what I mean? And honestly, by the end of day three, I felt way more comfortable with the language or whatever framework. I was able to run my own application. I was able to just do basic stuff. I was able to design things. and in general i felt super proud of myself and then so here we are today I, I i'm just recording this the day of we finished our last day today and i see there's like four main lessons that i took out of this challenge the first one being that once you know a language and once you get used to a language it's much easier to learn any other language and any other framework like it was so difficult for me to go from javascript to react from python to javascript but it was so much easier for me to go from react and next.js to Svelte. The second lesson I learned was that you cannot learn a language in three days. There is no freaking way you can learn a language in three days or whatever framework. I'm, re I'm referring to them in the same way, okay? And although you can't learn a language in three days, I feel like you can make a lot of progress in setting yourself up for the entirety of you using this language. Like for example, right now, right? In these three days, okay, I didn't learn Svelte in its entirety and I'm not a Svelte expert, but I put myself in a position now to where if I want to move forward with Svelte, I am in much better position than I was before because I learned some of the basics. The third lesson I learned here was to read documentation as much as possible, look at open source projects and build your own project. I feel like these three things, at least for beginners like myself, we tend to neglect these and think that by just watching videos and doing all these things that we would learn the best. But no, I learned much more by building my own projects, obviously, and most importantly, reading up on documentation and looking at other people's code who know better than us. And the final lesson I learned here, the fourth lesson was to just have fun. The final day was just a lot of fun to me. Like hopefully you saw, I was just doing whatever I felt like. I wanted to add a to-do app, sure. I wanted to read up on how a marketplace was built using Svelte. Sure, why not? It really built up my interest. And I feel like the more we have fun in these things, especially in development, the better we will do. That was just my experience of three days of Svelte. I feel like it was a success. Okay, we're not experts, but at the same time, I felt good about it. I built my own site. I built my own feedback app and I also built out a counter app. So that makes me an expert developer. But yeah, if you like the video, then like the video. If you want to learn more about programming, and you want to build cool shit, then I'll leave my platform down below. There's like a bunch of free stuff on there for you to check out. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.